Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs and Turnbull Insurance since 1866 present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. A special good morning to our fans at Eastern Star. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. Today we are traveling all over the Mohawk Valley and don't forget to pick up your November issue of Mohawk Valley Living. It is on the stands now and has all kinds of interesting articles, including one on the formation of Moss Island, which really was, in a sense, the beginning of the Mohawk Valley. Tonight at 6 o'clock, there's a social dance at the Callet Civic Center in Oneida. There's a ballroom dance lesson from 6 to 7 and open dancing from 7 to 10 with music by DJ Dave. Admission is $10 for the social dance tonight at the Callet Civic Center in Oneida. Be sure to pick up the November issue of Mohawk Valley Living Magazine, featuring an article about local raised meat, the formation of Moss Island, the arts, history, and more. I'm making this really my own. Yes, I'm making this really my own. Take a test drive and help raise money for the Richfield Springs Community Center this Saturday, November 9th from 9 to 1. There will be music, refreshments, and ram truck representatives. And you can explore the off-road track at Skinner and Demulis on Route 20 in Richfield Springs this Saturday from 9 to 1. You go the extra mile for your small business and should expect the same from your insurance company. For over 140 years, Turnbull Insurance Service has been committed to local small business. For your commercial coverage, turn to the company ready to go that extra mile. Turn to Turnbull. Mark your calendar for the 6th annual Christmas in Little Falls, Saturday, December 14th. Enjoy a good old-fashioned Christmas with live music, carriage rides, and free family events. There's also shopping and an indoor farmer's market and artisan's fair, Saturday, December 14th in Little Falls. Kick off your holiday shopping at the 37th Herkimer County Arts and Crafts Fair, Saturday and Sunday, November 9th and 10th. This juried show is one of the area's largest, with folk art, glassware, wood furniture, specialty foods, and more, on the HCCC campus, November 9th and 10th. The people you know, the rock you love, and more songs per hour. 92.7 FM, The Drive, Central New York's locally owned independent rock station. Melrose Supermarket is your family hometown market. Known for their choice hand-cut meats, homemade breads, and fresh pastas and salads. Check out the weekly specials at Melrose Supermarket, East Main Street in Frankfurt. Give your tongue a twist at the Black Cat Cafe. Great coffee, fabulous baked goods, and delicious breakfast, lunch, and afternoon teas. The cat's got your tongue. The Black Cat Cafe in Sharon Springs. Hi, Dr. Tom. Bringing your cat to the Paris Hill Cat Hospital on Sundays is a part of Mohawk Valley Living. Come inside and see why. Paris Hill Cat Hospital, this is Lindsay. How can I help you? Hello, Mrs. Cole. Your cat is losing weight and you need an appointment? And you're only available on weekends. Sure, I have an available appointment with Dr. Karen Sunday at 2 p.m. Does that fit into your schedule? Okay. We are open seven days a week because we know that your cat can become ill anytime. The Paris Hill Cat Hospital, quality care for your cats and kittens. Sitting here, I watch the world go by. Watching all the things stay away of goodbye. Have some fun with polka dancing today at 3 o'clock. Sponsored by the United Polka League featuring John Stevens and Double Shot. That's today at 3 o'clock at the Rose Lawn Restaurant at 446 Main Street in New York Mills. Special thanks to Turnbull Insurance Service and Mark and Jim Turnbull. Their continued support makes the show possible. This week we're visiting historic Utica. We stop by the Oneida County Historical Society and hear the sounds of construction. We almost didn't recognize Executive Director Brian Howard, who's wearing a different hat today, literally. He's building a stand for one of the museum's artifacts for a brand new exhibit featuring Utica in the 1800s. 
Uh, well, the exhibit is Utica in the 19th century. It was designed and built by uh, one of our Colgate University interns, Tess Christensen. Uh, she worked here all summer on it. And it tells the story about Utica during the time of the Industrial Age where people were uh, coming to the city to experience all sorts of things that uh, this area had to offer, including the Oneida Historical Society, established in 1876. Uh, we also have uh, pieces about the Erie Canal, leisure time activities, uh, the Utica Baseball Club from the 1860s is well represented. We even have an old bike uh, from the 1890s on display. After the Civil War is when the city grew. Uh, immigrants came here by the thousands, uh, a lot of them right on the Erie Canal to come in and work in the textile mills and the other manufacturing facilities that were just booming in this region. And they really contributed to a vibrant culture during that period and that's what we're hoping to uh, uh, to emulate with this display. The uh, safe that we have on display dates back to 1757 and its affiliation with Utica begins in 1812 when the original Bank of Utica was founded and that was used to house uh, all sorts of, uh, of, of monetary treasures including payroll for soldiers from the War of 1812. That was used by the, um, uh, by the Bank of Utica uh, through its establishment as the first national bank and all the way up into the early 20th century uh, when the first bank and trust company was established from its roots. So really, this artifact dates, uh, uh, is, it harkens right back to the establishment of Utica as a major region of manufacturing, commerce, and banking and we're pleased to have it in the display uh, because of that. I came rolling down the hill Down into the Mohawk Valley Train pulled into Union Station One passenger was I who chose to stay I heard drums along the river we head downtown looking for things to do on a cold, cloudy day. Don't forget that Munson Williams Proctor is open Sunday afternoons, and the sculpture court is always bright and cheery, even on the cloudiest days. Coincidentally, an exciting new exhibit opens here this Saturday that actually explores atmospheric effects on the psyche. A great time to visit is on Friday, November 15th at 5 p.m. for Art After Five featuring Mohawk Valley Living. Lance and I would love to meet you. There will also be snacks by a movable feast, a cash bar, entertainment by the Rusty Doves, as well as special discounts at the gift gallery. Hope to meet you at Art After Five featuring Mohawk Valley Living. Tickets are $10 or $5 for museum members. When the good old summertime comes round, even Monday nights you'll hear the music play. Scream of fallen angels while five mere mortals take the stage. Blob my rock and roll and silver beach every Christmas penny comes back home to play. The crown jewel of downtown Utica is the spectacular Stanley Theater, celebrating its 85th anniversary this year. Built in the Mexican Baroque style by famed architect Thomas W. Lamb, it is one of only three remaining Lamb theaters in the country. This month, the theater hosts the band Chicago on November 5th, Roger McGuinn on November 10th, Cirque Dreams on the 16th and 17th, and Trace Atkins on November 22nd. Check out their full holiday schedule at thestanley.org. into the Stanley stage if you listen you can hear the music play For lunch we get a taste of Utica on Bleecker Street at the Chesterfield restaurant We are deep in the heart of East Utica at a landmark the Chesterfield it has been here for as long as I've been around it was founded in 1941 and you can't come here without having real Italian fare which would include what I had, the Riggies and the Greens and oven-fired pizza, 
We had the Angelo, which was so traditionally Italian. It had, what was on there? Figs and brajute. Oh, it was so Italian. The success of Chesterfield's Tuscan oven in Oneida encouraged them to add a new coal-fired oven here on Bleecker Street. But, well, how it originated was um, he started in Oneida, the Tuscan oven. Uh, his da daughter, Dominique, runs it. And um, he wanted to incorporate it here because it did so well over there. Amore del Forno means uh, love of the oven, okay, in which we try to incorporate here. And we make our own dough. It's fresh. And we have uh, fresh ingredients. We have anything from Angelo, which has figs, arugula, uh, fresh Romano, to our basic margarita, which is fresh basil, mozzarella, and sauce, um, and so many different other varieties. Warm up with some hot oven-fired pizza at the Chesterfield restaurant. Open tonight and every night for dinner at 4 p.m. And serving lunch Tuesday through Saturday, 11.30 to 2.30 at 1713 Bleecker Street in Utica. I'm watching you, watching me. We I'm head back up Bleecker Street to Caruso's Pastry Shop, where we meet our friend Carmela. She jokes that the only holiday the Italians hadn't figured out was Thanksgiving, but now their seasonal apple pasties and pumpkin pasties are hugely popular. Stop in this morning to try them. They are open today until noon at 707 Bleecker Street in Utica. I'm watching you, watching me, and I say, who are you? How could I really We head up Genesee Street to stop in to visit our friends at 92.7 The Drive, the popular rock station and one of the only locally owned radio stations in the market. We meet Genesee Joe. You can hear him Monday through Saturday from 3 to 7 during the afternoon drive. 92.7 FM, The Drive, the locally owned independent rock station. Genesee Joe in with you on this fine afternoon. Hey, uh, don't forget now, the new issue of Mohawk Valley Living magazine is out, and it's loaded with a bunch of great areas. Take a test drive and help raise money for the Richfield Springs Community Center this Saturday, November 9th from 9 to 1. There will be music, refreshments, and ram truck representatives. And you can explore the off-road track at Skinner and Demulis on Route 20 in Richfield Springs this Saturday from 9 to 1. Make the Clinton Shoppers Stroll part of your family tradition. The village is decorated with thousands of white lights. Music and the aroma of roasting chestnuts fill the air as shopkeepers invite you in for holiday treats. The Clinton Shoppers Stroll, Friday and Saturday, November 29th and 30th. Visit Brenda's Natural Foods in their brand new, bigger location, right down the street at 236 West Dominic Street in Rome. Brenda's Natural Foods, something good and a lot of it. Hi, welcome to the Little Falls Antique Center in the shops at 25 West. We have two full floors with 50 vendors of interesting and unique products ranging from specialized to very eclectic, primitive to the not so primitive. Remember, shop local, we're worth the trip. Shop Shelter for handmade Adirondack furniture designed by craftsman Jim Kiefer. He works with you to create custom pieces to your specifications, from dining room and coffee tables to bookcases, beds, and bunks. Call or visit Shelter on Main Street in Old Forge. Store co-owners Linda and Joe McHarris invite you to shop the talented local artists at the Artisan's Corner. You'll discover one-of-a-kind handcrafted pottery, clothing, candles, jewelry, and original artwork, handmade from the heart of central New York at the Artisan's Corner in Clinton. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. Don't miss the 27th annual Quilts Unlimited exhibition at VIEW, featuring traditional and eclectic quilts and wall hangings from all over the United States. On display through January 5th at VIEW, open daily in Old Forge. Mark your calendar for the 6th Annual Christmas in Little Falls, Saturday, December 14th. Enjoy a good old-fashioned Christmas with live music, carriage rides, and free family events. There's also shopping and an indoor farmer's market and artisan's fair, Saturday, December 14th in Little Falls. 
This week we head to the historic former hops capital of the world, Waterville. It's been a couple years since our last visit when we followed the trail of the notorious family of outlaws, the Loomis Gang. We also learned about Waterville's profitable hops growing in the 18 and 1900s. We learned that the Great Nine Mile Swamp was both the ideal hiding place for the outlaws as well as a great source for the abundance of poles needed for hops growing. The rich soil in the area was not only ideal for hops growing, but also for raising cattle, wool, corn, and grain. Today, the local harvest is still processed locally at the third generation feed mill, Lewis Gale & Son. Here, corn, soybeans, and oats are ground in a hammer mill into a mash, and protein, minerals, and vitamins are added to the farmer's specifications. Well, my mother and father started the business in 51. Now that's 57 well 58 years ago um, we bought this facility it was a, a canning factory we changed it into a feed mill um, we make feed for dairy cows is our primary business but we also make feed for chickens and horses and pigs um, we've also got into some side things like we're in the grain business we dry corn and store corn process it into feed for farmers um, we also do the same with soybeans and we also take oats in for storage and make in the feed. We are right smack in the middle of the corn harvest right now and I was asking Ed about how many tons of corn they, they dry here a year. Last year it was 7,000 tons. That may not sound like a lot but that translates into 14 million pounds of corn. Here they make the feed tasty and nutritious by adding things like molasses, salt, and vitamins. Just outside the village, overlooking the valley on Route 12, is a family farm that knows their potatoes. Proputnowitz Potato Farm grows all kinds of vegetables, like cabbage, squash, and Brussels sprouts. Here's one for you. Who knew that we grow bananas here in the Mohawk Valley? Well, we do. Right here is a pink banana squash, and underneath it is a blue Hubbard squash. Talk about color. There are potatoes here that are called blue potatoes, I thought, well, maybe just a little bit blue. The outside is somewhat, but open this up and look at blue potatoes. Oh, my grandfather started here in 1948, and my dad came back in 1981, and I've been here ever since. And I guess officially this is my 10th crop. So potatoes and cabbage are the main two crops, but a lot of winter squash, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, beets, you name it, we probably do it. I, I enjoy the work. It's something I grew up doing, and I, I just can't imagine myself doing anything else. Quiet, proud, and strong. Hearts that reach out so long, so far to help each other along. Well, we all share something special here in this valley that's our home. Just as sure as the Mohawk rolls along, I'll never be alone. Here at Grace Episcopal Church, there are windows all around that are beautiful, but the one behind the altar and the one to the right of the altar, if you come here, look at them very carefully because they are both Tiffany originals. The church was built in 1854 and the windows were put in shortly thereafter and the colors, they're rose and burgundy. You usually picture Christ risen in white, but these colors are absolutely stunning. They're worth a trip down here just to see them. If you go down to the railroad tracks, follow them away. Come across an old farmhouse. If you're looking for a good old fashioned hardware store where you can find anything that you might need, you can come here to Morgan's Hardware in Waterville. 
It's been around for generations. Nowadays, you come here and they'll give you the usual uh, free yardstick like I have here in my hand. But I found this one inside the store that goes back quite a few years because it's only half a yardstick, 18 inches. And it has the telephone number on here as being 11. <laughs> What's a village without its trusted hardware store? Frank P. Morgan & Son has been a part of downtown as long as most people can remember. Upstairs is the furniture department, and downstairs they sell everything you can imagine. My grandfather bought this, probably started it been this way back in the early 30s. We don't even have an exact date, but, uh, uh, and then he ran it through probably the early 50s when my when my father joined up with him, and it first it was this Frank P. Morgan, then it became Frank P. Morgan and Son Incorporated, and we've always kept the same name throughout. So even today, we're still Frank P. Morgan and Son Inc. People call me Frank, but uh, no, no, I'm actually <laughs> way down the line still. <laughs> we actually have an old water-powered elevator that we've had probably since 19 old, early 1900s. It's still in operation. Water-powered? It's a water-powered elevator. Yeah, very one of very few left in the state that is still and working. Yeah. We have people that come on, they come in, they hear about it, we give them tours of it. So. Back in the village, we tour CNH Plastics. Next year, this company celebrates 40 years in business, having grown from 9,000 square feet to a new 56,000 square foot modern building. Here they design and mold plastic parts through the process of thermoplastics injection molding. Well, in 1970, we started, I had, my partner and I both had worked at GE Radio for 20 years and they closed the doors down there, left town, and rather than move to another state, we decided that we would go in business. We had kidded about it for a few years, but we decided to do it. Primarily right now, it's just medical products and uh, make a few tiles and uh, some floor tiles and stuff like that. Here at CNH Plastic, the raw material comes in like this, like little uh, pieces of rice. It is then molded into something like this. For me, this is very significant because it's a nebulizer, and I can tell you for a fact that it saved my life, one like this, more than once. And to think, it's made right here in Waterville, New York. To make sure that things are accurate here, they use what's called a visual magnifier. They showed me how it worked, but then uh, we put a penny under it and something I didn't know. I've always known that Lincoln was on it with the Lincoln Memorial, but with this visual magnifier, you could look into the memorial and there he is sitting in the middle, Abraham Lincoln. Traveling round. In 1866, James B. Turnbull walked to farms and villages to visit his customers, earning their trust. Today, the fourth generation of Turnbulls continue that dedication, tailoring a life insurance plan to suit your unique needs and priorities. Turn to the company that is out there to earn your trust. Turn to Turnbull. Get your tickets for the Hamilton College Performing Arts Silver Season, presenting the celebrated Kronos Quartet on November 9th and Kulu Mele African Drum and Dance on November 16th. For tickets, call 859-4331. Call Yannick Excavating for all your residential and commercial projects, from new construction and land clearing to septic systems, driveways, basements, ponds, and topsoil. Visit YannickExcavating.com. 
Do something about your chronic pain. Interx therapy can be the answer to your post-surgical or sports injury rehabilitation or chronic neuropathic pain. Call Dr. Michael Tucherone at 853-6225 for non-invasive Interx therapy. Celebrate the season at North Star Orchards with sweet cider, fresh baked pies, and cider donuts. Add some autumn color with decorative gourds, Indian corn, and corn stalks. Celebrate autumn at North Star Orchards in Westmoreland. The Village Crossing is full into fall. Your favorites have arrived, including comfortable cropped and tapestry jackets. Come in and they'll help you put it all together at the Village Crossing in Clinton. That special art, photograph, or memorabilia deserves a special frame. Oscars creates one-of-a-kind gold and silver leaf mirrors and frames. Oscars Picture Framing, 12 Kellogg Road, New Hartford. Have a tropical adventure and walk among hundreds of free-flying butterflies, tropical birds, plants, lizards, and frogs at the Pop Butterfly Conservatory. It's an unforgettable experience for all ages. Open seven days a week on Route 7 in Oneonta. Meelan's Market is your holiday meat headquarters, featuring boneless hams, smoked, trimmed, and cured by Bob Meelan himself. Stuffed pork chops, low-salt, low-fat kielbasa, chicken cordon bleu, and remember to pre-order your Plainville turkey at Meelan's Market at the Four Corners in Clark Mills. Tom's Natural Foods is your connection to local farms for natural and organic fruits and vegetables, meats, eggs, cheeses, and other milk products at Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton, naturally. Baby, can't you see no matter where you go, you never find another friend like me. Anytime, will you all alone and As summer and fall fade and we get into the colder weather, it's always good to come inside, do more heartier cooking. Um, squash is a, a real easy side dish to any meal. It adds a lot of nutrition. It's, uh, as I say, easy to, to cook, a lot of diversity. And most people have one or two favorites, but there's a lot of diversity. We can go with um, sweet dumpling. We can go with uh, delicata. We can go with a buttercup, acorn. And uh, always butternut is probably the most common squash we prepare. Once you've prepared the squash, no matter how you're going to cook it, uh, pretty typically everybody's going to want to put butter, salt, pepper, cinnamon, maybe some nutmeg into it. One of the little things I like to at home try to add to it is I'll take my acorn squash, put the brown sugar, nuts, and a little apple on top. As it bakes, it's going to absorb a lot of the apple uh, juices, give you a little different flavor. Richard demonstrates how easy it is to prepare squash. Simply cut, scoop out the seeds, preheat your oven to 350, and place face down on a cookie sheet to protect the moisture. Bake for about a half an hour or so, depending on the size and type of squash. If you choose, you can carefully turn the squash over halfway through baking and fill with butter, spices, or brown sugar, and bake until desired tenderness. We hope that you enjoyed today's show and that you will tune in again next week. In the meantime, be sure to pick up your copy of Mohawk Valley Living, the magazine. Picks up the young ones at the dairy queen.